Okay, we continue with the uh, tutorial, the example for this calculation. Uh, let's say uh, this is the example number one. Determine normal discharge for a 200 millimeter inside diameter, commonly clay drainage, common clay drainage tile running half full if the slope drop one meter over 1,000 meter. So let's say we have uh, this. Uh, circular conduit but you must very alert because you must need to use the inside diameter because normally the the conduit is made by concrete or something like that so and that it will has thickness like this so you need to understand that we need to uh, to calculate the the fluid so you need to use the inside diameter the inner diameter of this uh, sex, uh, section so and then uh, it is a uh, full half half full like this so and then uh, the equation of many uh, calculation is q is equal 1 over n a r h 2 over 3 times s uh, square root s so we could calculate as this one okay let's say the value of n depends on the uh, table based on the table it is equal to 0 0.013 so and then we need to calculate the hydraulic radius so the uh, hydraulic radius can be calculated as a divided by weighted parameter so the a here please bear in mind we only calculate the cross-sectional area of water not the cross-sectional area of the pipe you must be uh, really understand about that so uh, we could calculate the a is here 1 over 2 half of the total circular area so we get 0 0.0157 meter square and then the weighted parameter again you must understand that weighted parameter is actually the the weighted parameter here the parameter that wet by the fluid so it is half of the uh, full uh, circumference of this sing uh, circular pipe so we could calculate as 0 0.3142 so we could get the hydraulic radius as 0 0.05 meter and then according to the statement in the question so the slope is one meter over 1000 means that the slope is actually reduced one meter one meter for every 1000 meter so that is the idea so and then uh, we could calculate the slope is 0 0.001 because 0 0.001 is equal 1 over 1000 so you know about this so and then we could calculate the flow rate it is equal to 5.18 times 10 to the power of minus 3 meter cube per second so this is example 2 so we have uh, a British unit here feet square over second but uh, our uh, our cross-sectional area is not a circular so it is about the trapezium like this one okay by hook or by crook you need to know how to calculate about the trapezium like this okay so and then it, again it is uh, uh, an English unit so first we do this f the same step with the previous uh, question so let's say this is the equation that we want to use bear in mind we are using a uh, British unit so we need to use 1 over n because if we are using SI unit it is 1.49 over n so please uh, uh, please use the correct uh, equation so and then the question is calculate slope of channel okay so if normal channel this uh, normal discharge is 50 feet cube per second channel is form unfinished concrete so means you need to see the table and then uh, define the, the value of n so let's say the value of n here is equal to 0 0.01 so so and then uh, I just uh, simplify the calculation so we have a is 12 feet square the weighted parameter is 9.66 and then we could get the hydraulic radius is 1.24 feet so and then because we are looking we are calculating the value of s so means that we could rearrange the equation and become like this one and you could uh, substitute all the value you could get the value s is equal 0 0.00169 okay please make sure that you really understand the, the meaning of 0 0.00169 it is mean that the channel drop 1.69 feet for every 1000 feet length 
Okay, you should try this at home. Okay, now we go for example three. So design a rectangular channel in form unfinished concrete with below mentioned specification. So the normal flow rate is 5.75 meter cube per second. So the S is 1.2% 1. 1. Uh, and the normal depth is half the width of the channel. Since we have to design the channel, so we use the arrangement of this of uh, the arrangement of equation like this. That's why I said uh, previously, sometimes uh, engineer will use the the arrangement of equation like this one because it is quite easy to separate whether we are calculating about the flow rate or we are calculating about the design. Now we find that uh, we we need to design our channel based to the uh, specification. So it means that. We could calculate the value of the flow because everything about the flow is given here. So we use the value of NQ over square root S. So we substitute the value of uh, N and then uh, the value of flow rate and then the value of S. So it depends on this one. So it is 1.2%. So it is 1.2. It is 1.2 over 1000. So and then we could get it is equal to 0 0.892 okay so and then about the design of this one i think uh from the statement here you could imagine that uh the the okay the statement here the normal depth mean here is half of the width of channel so let's say we have a width of channel is b and then the depth here must be b over 2 because it must be half the width of channel so and then if we know after we know this one we could calculate the hydraulic radius okay so to calculate the hydraulic radius the a here is equal to b times b over 2 so we could get the the value of b square over 2 and then the weighted parameter is b over 2 plus b plus b over 2 and then it is equal to 2b okay so and then we could calculate the weighted parameter we could get that the hydraulic uh, the the hydraulic radius is equal to b over 4 okay so and then we could substitute all the value we have here into this uh, left hand side uh, terms okay and then we could solve this problem so we could have b is equal 1.76 and y is equal to 0 0.88 meters okay so in uh, uh, in this topic okay uh, you need to use try and error normally you need to calculate by using the idea of try and error okay uh, because for it uh, for example if Okay, at this moment, it's still okay. You could calculate this uh, straightforward to get the value of B. And then you could calculate the value of Y because Y is actually half of the value of B. Okay, this is uh, example number four that uh, we'll use uh, try and error. In a rectangular channel, as mentioned in example number three, so I mean uh, we still use the same dimension of uh, open channel conduit here. The final width was set as two meter. Okay, and the maximum discharge is twelve meter cube per second. The question is find the normal depth for this maximum discharge. So means that the idea is if you have. Uh, width of uh, open channel of 2 meter here and then you need to maintain the maximum discharge is 12 meter cube per second so what is the maximum value of y that we could set for this design so the idea is simple if we give y very high value for example okay let's say y is equal to 4 it is okay maybe you could uh, the, the flow rate 12 meter 12 meter cube per second can be flow easily but 
you are wasting material and you will increase the cost of construction so that's why people have this kind of uh, situation in real life because we want to maximize everything in our construction okay so and then what we do is okay let's say the the value of depth here is y so now we have one uh, unknown parameter so uh, we could calculate the value of the properties the flow properties here can be calculated as n is 0 0.17 so the q is 12 meter cube per second as mentioned in the question and the s is given previously so we could calculate it is equal to 1.862257 now we calculate the uh, left hand side parameter so we have a so the area of this one is 2 meter times y so we have 2y so and then uh, the weighted parameter is y plus 2 plus y so we have 2 plus 2y so and then the hydro the hydraulic radius can be written as this one 2y over 2 plus 2y so and then we substitute the into this equation so we could have this kind of equation so it's quite simple because we only have one unknown parameter but the location of that y is quite weird so it's quite uh, and this make this uh, uh, equation is not easy to solve unless you could solve this by using the program in your scientific calculator in your scientific calculator it can be uh, it can be uh, calculate this one so please uh, try to study how to use your scientific calculator to get the correct answer for this situation if you don't have uh, that uh, uh, you don't know that method you could use the trial and error method okay the simplest one the simplest one is by using your excel data sheet so and then uh, from the calculation of trial and error method so you could get the normal depth is equal 1.348 meter so what is actually the trial and error method so it is actually if you develop the equation of this one you could you develop the equation of this one okay i think you know what to do so then you could give one number until you could get the correct one so means that you do the trial and error method so here for example i get the 1.35 is almost uh, near to the, the the value so it is 1.8658 for example so it is uh, equal almost uh, same with this one and then i refine with 1.348 so i just assume that this value is the final value that for this uh, problem so i take 1.348 is uh, our final answer here so and then if the uh, if the the final exam uh, conduct in a face-to-face -face mode so mean you need to come to UTM and answer the question you cannot use your trial uh, your your uh, Excel worksheet but you still have your scientific calculator to do the trial and uh, error method so you could uh, use that uh, method to solve but if you still don't know how to use your scientific calculator you could do the trial and error method by substitute substitute any numbers here until you get the correct value so for example you are put you are substitute 1.0 for example and then you see the value whether it is satisfied 1.86 so if not you just increase the number 1.1 1 .1, 1 1.3 1.35 Okay, you need to trial and error again and again to get the nearest uh, value of this one okay please make sure that you could understand how to solve this uh, problem so this is the example of uh, excel sheet